Hello, welcome to a little lockdown look behind the scenes here at Mammal HQ. I'm here in our off-show small mammal room, which is a hive of activity at the moment, and bursting with our baby harvest mice. Now that we are well into May, we are at the beginning of the harvest mouse breeding season, and the baby boom has well and truly begun here. Harvest mice are tiny creatures who only weigh around 5 grams when they're fully grown, the same as a 2p piece. In the wild, they like to live in long tussocky grassland, hedgerows and reed beds, just like we have here at Slimbridge. Their breeding season runs from May to October in the wild, although in captivity they will start as early as March as they have no shortage of food and are nice and warm inside. They can have multiple litters in this yearly period, as babies are born just two to three weeks after mating occurs. Our pregnant females still make a tennis ball sized nest as they would in the wild because we provide them with pampas, reeds and other tall grasses bundled together which is their favourite structure to work with. You can see one here from earlier this month which has been used and recently vacated. The mice balance high up on the stems and bend and weave the leaves and grasses to form a frame. They then split more grasses from top to bottom into tiny strips and weave them into the ball shape before lining the nest with chewed up dead leaves or the fluffy pampas. It takes about 48 hours to complete a nest and mum will then close over the entrance with more grasses after the babies are born, which can be up to seven at a time. We are still doing our matchmaking here at Slimbridge and pairing up the mice behind the scenes as we would do in normal circumstances to maintain our mouse numbers for the Back from the Brink corridor. We have had three litters born so far just in May alone and when these juveniles are weaned from mum and fully independent at around three weeks old, we'll put them on display. Most baby harvest mice do not live for more than six weeks in the wild sadly as they are eaten by one of their many predators. Our babies, though, are a lot luckier and will hopefully be nicely settled in for when our visitors return. So it's not just all about the mice here on the mammal section. Flo and Ha Ha, our North American river otters, are still happily enjoying this beautiful weather. And they're still being fed regularly throughout the day, even with no talks or people to come out for. They're still sticking to their normal routine, which is great for us for when we reopen. And they are also getting extra fish ice lollies that are frozen in jelly moulds in this sunny weather. And these are then great floating bath toys for them to play with in the water and then eat as they melt. They're both getting much more active now as the weather improves and they've also taken to sleeping outside on the warmer nights. They are more used to visitor interaction than the mice and are definitely missing having people around to show off for. We really do hope to see you all back at Slimbridge very soon so you can come and enjoy the sunshine just like our otters and hopefully be able to spot some of our baby harvest mice for yourselves. Bye.